So this patient's coming in for a rapidly evolving lesion that's been there for the last five days. This is clearly consistent with an infected or inflamed cystic area. Um, the problem with this is obviously because of the infection, the anesthetic doesn't work as well. And why is that, Dr. Jane? Why doesn't the anesthetic work as well? Um, that's because of the acidic pH of the uh, inflamed cyst. Infect yeah, so the inflamed cyst, cyst increases acidity, pH drops, and then the lidocaine is not able to be unionized, so it can't get into the cell. So what we're going to have to do with these is we want to make sure we're freezing along this margin as much as possible, trying to avoid the cyst because we have to stend the cyst capsule. That's quite painful for him. So you're going to feel a little poke here. Just bear with me. You're going to feel a poke. I apologize. You're going to feel a burning. Yeah, bear with me as best you can. Just breathe. So ideally you want that to blanch, you got that, thank you. So I'm trying to set the bevel barely in. Because we're fried trying to freeze the skin. You okay? Yeah, it's uncomfortable though, eh? I'm going to put some in the mid area, but we'll probably have this into the cyst itself. So you can see how that's coming out the opening. So that's going to mm -hmm. into the cyst proper. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt there? Any pain? Yeah. That hurts? Little. Hurts or you just feel pressure? Pressure. Little bit. So we talked before, the problem with this is whether we're able to get good answers. I'm going to try it out a little bit more. So the reason why I'm freezing down here, because we want in size below the chin line, so to, to minimize actual scarring. You okay there? Yeah. So which bacteria is likely to be causing this problem? Um, uh, Steph Aureus. Yeah, staph and strep variants, whether it's actually staph aureus would be the issue. If we are dealing with staph aureus, what percentage of those will be MRSA? Um, and what is what is MRSA? A methicillin resistance, resistant staph aureus. Right, so what used to be sensitive to penicillin now is no longer resistant. So it's going to hurt a little bit. You okay? Yes. So what percentage of those will be MRSA nowadays? Um, I would say 2%. It's like 15% now. Yeah, that's pretty good, draining pretty well. Gonna put some pressure on this, I apologize. So here again, we can talk about, is it more worthwhile to do a big circumferential block? One, it's a lot of freezing and that may not work either. And the pressure part, when you squeeze like this, you're gonna have discomfort with that unless you have a massive one. Mm -hmm. So you always gotta factor in, you know, what's gonna be most uncomfortable for the patient. And these, these cases where it's inflamed or infected like this, it's hard because you can't have it both ways and it's sometimes challenging. So now we're going to irrigate this. Try it back here. So just going to clean this out. It's got a weird sensation. You should see this expanse. It's expanding back up. Yeah. So this, I'm obviously not worried about reintroducing infection. There's nothing about this field that isn't already infected. So whether this is coming back into the syringe or not, you okay? Yeah, it's kind of a weird, uncomfortable feeling because it's cold and it's... That's okay. You want to grab me one of those long Q-tips that are there? Okay. 
Does that hurt too much? Not too bad. So it's just a breakdown inoculation. We can use an actual curette, but this is not the best freezing, so I'd use something gentle like this anyway. Just dab that for me, Dr. Jim. I'm just gonna irrigate that one more time and then I'm gonna actually do a swab. I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. So why don't we start the why don't we swab at the beginning when the pus pours out? Um, because pus is basically dead dead white cells. Yeah. And do dead cells culture well? No. No. So ideally if you look at it from the standpoint of just culturing a bunch of dead cells yeah. versus doing a swab trying to find live cells. And remember we're dealing in the order of millions and billions of bacteria, so finding some live ones isn't that difficult. And we can go from there. So this looks pretty clean. So what about, should we suture that closed? No, we no, want why not? it to actually drain. Yes, we want that to actually drain. So what about packing? Should we pack this one? Um, it's going to be quite uncomfortable, I guess. It's okay. Yeah, so if we pack, we'd only, so there's only two reasons why I pack anymore. That's for hemostasis, so it's bleeding excessively, or for if we think there's loculations that are significant, to let them break down overnight. This one's not too bad and it's pretty clean. So I think we'll just put a, one sterry strip and then put a dressing on it. But again, we don't want to seal it too, too much. Then we'll see him back tomorrow.